Hello there guys, Wayne here from Luna's World. I hope you're well. Welcome to a tech review. Today's video is all about monitors. Uh, this side here, I have uh, just a 1080p AOC uh, monitor, 60 hertz refresh, um, 32 inch. That's kind of what I've been using really for the last couple of years. Um, and I wanna just put this out there that I've never had a 4K monitor. Um, I've had 4K TVs, but I've never got a 4K monitor, mostly for the reason of, um, I, I was just never really willing to sacrifice the smoothness um, for sharpness, if that makes sense. So, um, however, I think I've made a big mistake there. So, let me introduce you to the ViewSonic uh, VX3211 4K monitor just as Microsoft Flight Simulator is loading up on here. So this is my first 4K monitor. Um, wow, the difference is just crazy. Um, really, 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 really noticeable. So if you're on the fence, and I, I'm late to 4K, I know, in terms of computers, and I don't know why. Well, I, like I said, it's just the lack of smoothness, but uh, having tried the 4K in the native resolution within Microsoft Flight Simulator, I lose about maybe nine, eight or nine FPS, but the smoothness is still there. Um, and luckily with 1080p, I'm still getting over 40 to 50 frames. So I'm down to 32, 34 frames on 4K, really smooth. So, um, you know, win-win. So I still get the smoothness, but now I get this extra crispy, beautiful full, full 4K textures, which makes the world of difference, I can't tell you. Um, especially in Microsoft Flight Simulator with all that beautiful scenery. So really cool. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about, a little bit about this monitor. 32 inch, um, it's a, just a TFT panel, nothing really crazy special, um, but the, the blacks on this um, are really, really deep. Uh, I think that's to do with the fact that it has a uh, dynamic contrast ratio of 80 million to one. Um, aspect ratio normal, 16 to nine. Um, brightness is uh, 300 uh, DC um, M squared, if anybody knows what that means. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of inputs. We've got HDMI, of course, but we do have uh, DisplayPort input, input, inputs on the back. And this is also a 60K, 60 hertz monitor, so nothing crazy on the refresh rate. Um, you know, I find you don't really need above 60 uh, in flight simulation because it's quite rare that you get above six or 60 frames per second anyway. So that fluid sort of feeling that you get maybe with first first person shooters like PUBG or whatever, um, uh, definitely, you know, you do require at least a 120K, uh, I keep saying K, 120 hertz. Um, but for flight simming, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's got, comes with Two 2.5 watt speakers on the back, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good solid um, monitor. And I've got it mounted on these two, uh, well, I have them separately mounted, but on these uh, like hydraulic arms, which are really good. Um, and ergonomically, it's, it's really, really nice. It's not curved like this one, um, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So this is my main display. And then on this display, I have a moving map or whatever utility I need. If I'm doing long haul, maybe I'll watch a YouTube video as I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, my main display, 4K, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give you some shots of the monitor so you can see what it looks like ergonomically and the actual looks of it. But for 11,000 baht, Right now in Lazada, I'll put the link in the description um, and also a link to a shop on Facebook that um, who sent me out this. This is uh, a great company called uh, Monitor to Home and they do all sorts of uh, monitors, projectors, anything display. And the guy is really, really knowledgeable, really friendly. Um, he's got you, got you sorted and he's very knowledgeable about, you know, what, what, um, if you're struggling to know what display you should get, he'll sort you out. So shout out. Thank you for sending me this, um, and, uh, letting me review it. I'm really looking forward to, uh, showing this off. It's really cool. This is not a paid video. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is my honest opinion of this 4k monitor. Bearing in mind, I've not had a 4K computer monitor before, so 
I guess my experience is quite limited. I'm not, I can't really compare this to anything else, but I can compare it to what I've got here, which is the 1080 uh, monitor that I've been using for the last two or three years. Um, but it's a game changer, like going to 4K from 1080p, total game changer. I'm gonna do a quick flight and show you the difference. Um, you're not gonna be able to see the difference clearly, but you're gonna be able to hear and see my reaction. And I'll try and describe it as best I can. Um, and uh, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer so that we can check that out. But yeah, so guys, let's, let's get into it. I can't wait to do some flying in 4K. Let's go. Okay, hello there guys, welcome back. So uh, now I'm running the flight sim on the 1080p monitor right here. Um, and hopefully you can see that I'm getting uh, 30 FPS in the top left corner. We're currently at Bangkok in uh, Suwanapum. So this is, a, and I've got payware scenery for Suwanapum. So it's quite a, a taxing area. We're also in the Aerosoft CRJ, so again, um, you know, quite taxing. So, uh, yeah, actually I'll show you my um, graphic settings as well. I hope you can see that. So everything's pretty much on high. Um, with the exception of ambient occlusion and also reflections are on medium. So that's kind of what I would run um, and again, maybe I might have to bump up the uh, anti-aliasing um, just because obviously now we're rendering at, um, why does that say 1017? That's a bit weird. Shouldn't that be 1080? Weird. Oh, maybe because I'm in windowed mode. Hang on. Let's change that. Let's keep that. Yeah, there we go. So now 1080, 1920 by 1080. So yeah, let's just um, resume that. We'll go back, resume, and we'll just do a takeoff here, and we'll see if we can maintain that 30 uh, FPS. There we go, so obviously I know that uh, this isn't going to be a great view for you guys, but let me just zoom in. Uh, that's as far as I can zoom in actually. Let me go a bit further here. So to me, um, the general feel of it is that it's looking quite washed out. Um, the greys are just a bit flat. The dark um, colours are quite flat. Um, and just generally, that pixelation is really noticeable. Um, but it's quite smooth, you know, it's, I'm getting good performance. So I have dropped down to 24, 25 frames, which is not too bad for this area, believe it or not. Um, shadows look good. But still smooth, if I just move my hat switch around. A little bit of tearing, but pretty smooth. I could lock that um, to 30 frames, I think, and have an even smoother experience. But let's just do a turn. So the main difference for me is really seeing the, uh, the ground textures um, transition from this kind of what looks like quite pixelated um, you know, textures on the 4K monitor just looks so much better. So, um, yeah, but you know, I guess because I've never experienced 4K, it was just, I was just accepting, you know, of what it was really. So it's kind of like, if you don't see it, you know, if you've never experienced it, you don't really miss it. But now going back to 1080, having flown on the 4K monitor, it's really, really hard to go back to this. Anyway, um, let's swap over to the 4K uh, monitor and uh, check things out on there. Okay, so now I'm running the 4K monitor, um, but at the moment I still have the textures at 1080p. And again, I'm not expecting you to be able to get a full sense of this, but um, it looks quite similar to what it did um, on 
the 1080p monitor, obviously, because that's what it's outputting. But my FPS here is exactly the same, 29 to 30. So now let's go ahead and change the resolution in the game up to 4K, which is like that. And we're going to go back, we're going to resume. In fact, you know, I haven't lost any FPS at all, which might have something to do with the update. In fact, hang on, let me just go full screen. There has been a recent um, NVIDIA update and also a SIM update as well. So let's just go full screen now. How diff yeah, it doesn't make much difference. But the difference in the quality of the actual textures inside and out is just, it's chalk and cheese. It really is um, much, much, much sharper, just more pretty, more beautiful. I think the colors are better actually on this monitor as well. Um, just much more immersive. And I was really, really staggered by the difference, you know, in in the two uh, when I first gave it a go. I really didn't think 4K was going to kind of, I know it's an upgrade, but I didn't think it was going to be as much as it as, as I've experienced. And even now, I, you know, your eyes become adjusted and they get used to seeing 4K. So, but now having gone back to 1080p, 1080p just looks so old. It looks like it should be in the 80s. You know, maybe not that bad, maybe 90s, you know. And 4K in Microsoft Flight Simulator is just stunning. It really is. Um, I can't really do it justice, you know, showing you like this. Um, it's just not, you know, it's, it's difficult to do that. Uh, but I don't know. And of course, if I record in 4K, I think it would require you to have a 4K monitor in order to see the benefit. So hopefully my description of, you know, the, the difference between the two is helpful in some way. I hope it is. Um, but wow, what a difference. What an absolute difference. It's incredible. I'll never go back to uh, just straightforward HD again. And of course, not just in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but in, you know, Windows, even writing is easier on your eyes. Um, I don't get eye strain as much as I did. So yeah, really, really cool. I love this monitor because it's not too expensive. 11,000 baht here in Thailand. So that's about, I'm guessing about 250 pounds, $300 ish, something like that. Really reasonable, widely available. Um, but I'll put the link in the description for people who are in Thailand who want to get this monitor. Um, I think for flight swimming, it's absolutely great and it's not going to break your bank account either. So guys, I hope you found this useful. Um, I'll be doing more videos of, you know, actual flying and stuff, but hopefully you like these reviews as well. Do let me know. Um, I'm not the world's leading expert, as you've probably already gathered on uh, monitors or displays or anything like that. but. When I experience such a big change in my flight simming setup, um, I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, my plan is to uh, review an incredible projector that has recently come out with a ridiculous refresh rate, 4K, and I want to uh, with no lag, no input lag, which is the big. So this this projector is built for gaming, um, and I want to see how that renders out in uh, using flight sim. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But in the meantime, you'll see more, more reviews of different products and also a lot more um, flight sim videos. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. And um, as ever, you know, if you could like and share, and if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do. Um, big shout out again to Monitors to Home, link in the description. Not a paid ad, not a paid sponsored video in any way. Um, I have to send this back. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Take care.